Hi and welcome to this video that is just an introduction to DNS. It's going to be a really simple video and we're just going to take a look at what actually happens when you type a domain name or URL into your web browser. It's aimed at people who don't know anything about DNS and it is just going to be a sort of basic overview and we won't go into anything too technical. Uh, it's going to be the start of a series so if you want to know a bit more about DNS watch this video and then you can go on to the more advanced videos if you want to. DNS is great. It's the reason the internet is so easy to use. You type in a domain name or a URL to your web browser and the website loads. And although that seems like a really simple process, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. Let's take a look. We'll start with the very basics. You enter the domain name, press enter or return and the website loads and what actually happens is your computer is connecting to a server somewhere in the world that contains the website files for that website. But there are millions of these servers all over the entire world so how does your computer know which one to connect to? The answer to that is DNS. The first thing to note is that each one of these servers has a unique identifiable number called an IP address and much like your home address it is unique to each server. Once your computer, mobile device, laptop or whatever you're browsing the internet on has this number it knows how to find that server. And that brings us on to our next point, how does your computer or phone or whatever device you're using know how to find that number? Well, it will ask something called a name server. In very simplified terms, a name server is basically just a server that has an index that maps URLs to IP addresses. There's more to it than that, but we'll cover that later on in the series. Once your device has the IP address, it can connect to the right server and download the website files. And all of this happens in the time it takes for you to press enter and that web page to load. It's quite amazing, really. And that's the end of this video for now. Obviously there's a lot more to DNS than this little basic introductory video, but this was just to give a bit of an overview to build a base for the rest of the series. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.